that you had a comfortable night in custody? You got nothing to say without my attorney. You don't need to hide behind an attorney, Jason. I've already gotten statements from Maxie and Spinelli. I know what happened. I know that Devlin was about to kill Maxie and you shot him. So in essence, you protected Maxie. All I want from you is to tell me what Devlin said before he died. We have to meet. I have a busy afternoon. Look, if Ian gave us up to Jason, then he could be coming after both of us as soon as he gets released from custody. Meet me in the park in half an hour. You're coming home today, sweetheart? You're going to be in your own room with all your favorite stuff. You're going to have your books and your pictures. And I'm going to open the windows and I'm going to let fresh air come in and... I'm going to play your favorite songs. And I'm going to be the one there taking care of you. It's going to be so much nicer than this hospital. And you're going to get stronger. And you're going to come back to us. You are. Michael's ready. Carly, don't do this. I'm having the surgery today. Your life will be saved. Yeah. And I'm not trying to back out or anything. Definitely convinced me to... to have this surgery. Not just for myself, but... for Spencer, too. I just want to see your face. Hear your voice for a little while longer, that's all. <laughs> you are. Our first kiss was in this park. <laughs> I remember. I know, I know. <laughs> little teenage Emily mm. kissed me without warning. Stuck her tongue halfway down. <laughs> oh, she did. Come on. <laughs> I needed a little more work, <laughs> a little more technique. No, I was I was actually charmed by it, as a matter of fact. And you felt sorry for no, me. No, I did not. <laughs> You were so beautiful, even then. Yeah. Um, my friends had told me how to kiss. But the real thing was very different from practicing on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> pillow. <laughs> well, I'm, I was honored to have been your first kiss, and I was honored that you loved me. supposed to do that without you. You have faith. Have faith that good things lie ahead for you. I'll try, Asta. Nicholas, I pray to God that you have a long and happy life. from now when you're an old, old man. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Mr. Holden's temperature is normal and his BP's down. Good. Administer his meds in an hour. 
Ooh, in an hour, I'm not gonna be here. Oh? Well, it's Jake's birthday. I'm working a half shift. Did you arrange this earlier? Yes, ma'am. It's on the rotation. Well, then, in that case, I guess you and the boys go ahead and have yourselves a good time at the birthday party. Thank you. It's Jake's first birthday? Yeah, it's just kicking balloons at the park. And really, it's more for Cameron than it is for Jake, because he doesn't know what's going on. And I actually thought about putting the party off, because Lucky's out of town doing some investigative course with the FBI, but, you know. You know, kids like to celebrate on the actual day. Mm -hmm. Stanford used to start counting down ten days before. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron has reminded me every day. He even helped me bake the cake. That is so cute. I know. Anne insisted on going to the store and picking out the decorations and the <laughs> presents. Well, who's having a party? That would be one-year-old Jacob Martin Spencer. Are you disappointed? Hoping for a party where the refreshments were not milk and cookies? I happen to like milk and cookies. Well, then you are more than welcome to come to the party. It would be nice having a male presence since Jake's father can't be there. I have nothing to say no, without, without an attorney present. You know, it's particularly galling to know that I'm the one that taught you that obnoxious little phrase during my regrettable tenure as your attorney. You don't have to worry about self-incrimination. I just want a simple statement. You were kneeling beside Devlin when he died. Did you hear him name his accomplice? I got nothing to say. Which means you're planning to kill his accomplice. I get it. Whoever hurt Michael should pay, but you don't get to decide how that's done. Murder's illegal. If you attempt it, I swear to God, Jason, I will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. I mean it. If there is anyone at risk for prosecution, it is you, the Kate defense Davis. attorney at last. This is a most egregious abuse of your official power. Standard procedure. Oh, come on, Alexis. Look, let's just cut to the chase. You are holding my client in an attempt to coerce him into revealing what Ian Devlin said before he died. That's exactly what I'm doing. Morning, Dad. How are you? You're feeling better today? I'm feeling better. I'm counting the days till I can get out of this chair and walk wherever I want to without having to knock. Well, knocking's just a common courtesy. We don't need etiquette. We're family. Nobody ever barged in on me in Italy. They had more respect for my privacy. Oh, so you come back home with your nose in the air? I'm all grown up, Dad, in case you hadn't noticed. I noticed. You're still reckless, Claudia, and crazy enough to hire somebody to kill Sonny. Where did you get that idea? I watch and I listen. You wanted him dead, so you took matters into your own hands, which was a crucial mistake. Fortunately, you have your father to cover for you. My decision is made. James, I don't want to fight The facility again. I found is perfect for Michael. He'll receive around-the-clock And you care. didn't tell me you were investigating that facility, and if you would have, I would have told you that you were wasting your time. I know you, Carly. A week from now, or a month, or six months from now, you're going to realize that this can't work, that he's better off in the facility. I am his mother. I'm supposed to be taking care of him. Think about what you're doing here. You're going to be exhausted. You'll have no time or energy to be any kind of mother to Morgan. I'm doing what's right for Michael. How can you ask me to send him away? Golly, look... You can visit him whenever you want. For as long as you want, you can spend days with him. You can talk to him, love him as much as you always have. Hey. Hey. The ambulance is waiting out front. We're going home, baby. We're going home. 